Oh, good afternoon. Steve's getting the GPS ready. Ladybug's whining because she's so excited that we're going. I'm ready to rock and roll. We are about to pull out of the driveway for the holiday weekend. Phone's in place. Phone's in place. I wonder I can see going down the road. GPS is on. Sunglasses are acquired. Keys Water. are the ignition. All the checklist things have been done. And we're ready to go. Ladybug, you ready to go? Yeah. Hi, I'm Kathy. And this is Steve. In 2019, we started planning our retirement and realized that we both wanted to travel and see the U.S. in an RV. So we started our adventure with Fate, Fortune, Fun. We packed up our fun mover and started planning weekend adventures and vacations to learn more about the RV lifestyle. Please subscribe and click the notification button so you can follow us as we continue this journey to retirement and beyond. We're on the side of the road. It's funny, we decided to leave early today. We're like, oh, we're instead of leaving Friday morning, let's leave Thursday evening. We can take our time, we can enjoy our trip, and we can relax. expect to happen this to happen okay he's stopping again he's probably gonna figure out where we want to go I'm gonna hang hang this up and call him well it's time to report the good the bad and the ugly took a shit. <laughs> the good is that Steve and I are safe and safe and sound mm. The bad is that our dolly got a flat tire, and of course we don't have a spare for it yet. And so we have been trying to find a tire for a couple hours and have been unsuccessful. The good is that we found a parking lot, Home Depot, thank you very much. We're gonna spend the night here because we're right next to a Northern Tool that we think has the tire in it tire size that we need. The bad <laughs> is that we had to take the car off the dolly in order for us to you know get to where we got the flat or the tire blew out till now and unfortunately when we pulled into the parking lot I thought we were parked so I pulled the car up nice and close to be nice and safe and we weren't parked, and when he pulled off to pit park in a better spot, he forgot about the tail swing and didn't realize how close I was. So now we need a new side mirror on the car. <laughs> but we're finding humor in it, barely, but we are finding humor in it. And we're safe, and we're gonna get a night's sleep, hopefully a good night's sleep, and start again tomorrow. Steve, do you have anything you wanna add to this? It's only 80 degrees out. Yeah. So I'm hoping it cools off. Yeah. I'm ready for bed. Yeah. Bug's already in bed. <laughs> She's down there in her bed. We're going to have to move the move her in a minute to get that carpet fully laid out so we don't trip. But the good, the bad, and the ugly, you know, thankfully he saw the tire blow. Thankfully the car didn't wiggle woggle everywhere when the tire on the dolly blew and we were safe and in the end that's all I care about the rest it's fixable yep there's a northern to uh, tool right there mm -hmm. supposedly they have them we'll see yeah the way this is going we might end up back at home we're only an hour from home yeah, we ended up leaving after work. Um, it's a it's Memorial Day weekend, so I took we I, we both took Friday off work, and so instead of leaving Friday er, morning early, we decided, oh, let's just leave Thursday night. We'll get you know we'll drive for a little while. We'll find a nice spot to park, and then we'll you know we'll be closer to where we're going for the weekend, and it'll be nice. It's a nice way to ease into a holiday weekend. Like you said, we're only an hour away from home, and if tomorrow st starts the way today is ending we'll be back at home tomorrow 
we absolutely will be back at home tomorrow because well this will be home well yeah we'll just keep going almost to Virginia there's a lake we can relax mm -hmm. yeah. I'm ready yeah <laughs> so we're gonna call it a night so good night folks I hope your holiday weekend has started better than ours of course by the time you see this it'll be a couple weeks from now but <sighs> I think we need to turn the generator on and get the humidity out of the air. It's really hot. So good night. So we're back on the iPhone again today. Steve's uh, at the tire. Well, that was hard to find. So we're about to take care of this situation here with the blowout. Nice thing is, is we had to buy the tire and the wheel. And so now we will have a spare once we get all the tires fixed. So that's our job for today is to get that fixed and see him work through that. And then ho hopefully everything will go smoothly. Famous last words. Is it fate? I brought this with us this time. I know, isn't that crazy? We're thinking Home Depot because this is where our home was last night. We're right next to a Northern Tool, so we were able to buy a tire at Northern Tool. It's going to get this done. I'm not going to record the whole tire changing. I assume everybody knows how to change a tire. And just for the record, for safety, we are still hooked up to the RV, so you don't have to worry about us rolling back into that blue and green car. Truck. Or truck. I'm sorry. Yes, Steve is right. That is a truck. So he's going to take that off. He's going to inspect everything, make sure we're good and safe. Then we'll be able to pull forward and pop the pilot back up on there and continue on our day. So the tire is back on. We just had a nice gentleman come by and talk to us about tow dollies. And so you can see my shadow. So the tire's on. That's the old tire that came off. It is low on air. So Steve's about to fire up the generator and get the air pressure and air the air compressor going so we can get some air in there get this tire in the rv somewhere and uh head on down the road so we're outside something just blew we heard it and felt it we didn't see it so i'm not seeing it on the driver's on the passenger side Glad we're here. It was a, quite the adventure getting here. One blowout wasn't enough. Correct. It took two of them. Yeah. So let's do a little backstory because I'm not sure how much was caught on film. Yep. So 
excuse me when I scratch my nose. I think every video has me scratching my nose. <laughs> so first, we are in a campground, so there are kids riding bikes and having fun. So if you hear kid noise in the background, smile, because that's what camping is all about. Yep. And um, Virginia's right over there. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Other side of the lake. And so, it's Memorial Day weekend, 2021. We uh, made reservations for Friday night, Saturday night, and Sunday night at this campground Lake Gaston in Littleton, North Carolina. It's a thousand trails park. We made the decision to leave Thursday night after work to get a jump on the holiday weekend traffic. Get up this way, Camp Walmart. Mm -hmm. Little did we know we'd be Camp Home Depot. Yeah. <laughs> so we are an hour, hour and 15 minutes from home? Yep. And what happened? Just happens? north of Charlotte. You tell the story because it's your story to tell. We're just north of Charlotte on 85. Ironically, right where we used to live. <laughs> <laughs> did live there for a while. And I just happened to look over in the side mirror and see the tire explode. On the to tow dolly? Yes. Well, at that point we weren't sure. We just saw the tire blue, but we didn't know where. Because right. you saw the actual tire shreds going. <laughs> exactly. I saw the boom. Right. And it was a big boom, yeah. so I thought. <laughs> I didn't hear it or feel it. He had the vehicle under control the entire time, which made me feel so safe. And he was like, very calmly, put it his turn signal didn't. on and very calmly pulled over under the shoulder of the road and went, we just blew a tire. Yeah. Right before an exit. Yeah. With which, ironically, one of my friends his sign shop was right there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so we were able to pull the pilot, which is what we tow off of the tow dolly. We caught it early enough that the tire didn't totally shred. Mm -hmm. I mean, it was done, but we could at least limp a couple of miles right. to get to where we ended up finding, well, Home Depot and Northern Tools. So what happened is I followed him to the next exit and I did get some video of that on my cell phone. Yes. And then once he pulled off the shoulder on the exit, I zipped around and then went ahead to scout a place that he could pull into easily and we could be safe. And thankfully there was a business park right there. So we pulled into some businesses parking lot. It was Friday. It was Thursday evening after hours. So we felt comfortable doing that. Yeah. Then we got on the phones, our phones, and started searching for somewhere that we could find a tire. We thought maybe Walmart, because I've seen they have tires and with the rims and everything, ready to go. Mm -hmm. And yeah, we hopped in the pilot, drove there, and searched. Of course, they were already closed, the tire department. Mm -hmm. And I wasn't able to find anything. I found one. It's kind of like putting a donut on a car. It's a smaller one, but I think it would have fit. And we figured, well, if nothing else, we could limp along. I could follow him. We would be fine. Yeah. But then we really weren't happy with that solution, and it was already a croach. It was already what ten o'clock at night by that point in time. Yeah. So we got some fast food. We went back. We ate. We found that there was a northern tool not far from where we were yeah. that would have the set the tire the right size tire and the one that was rated because I guess there's a C and a D right and there was one that was rated the D which is the higher quality higher speed and weight of the two correct so we decided let's go get that one and so there was a Home Depot right next to the northern tool so that ended up working out really well for us I actually never realized the tires that the manufacturer put on the tow dolly mm -hmm. were C-rated. And that's how Not many? Not heavy duty enough. Not heavy duty enough. And what was the speed limit? 60. No, 60 is what we have on there. 60 was the D, or I think. 55. 50 or 55. Maybe, yeah. So I don't know. You would really have but to watch could, your speed. But it didn't haul as much weight. Mm -hmm. Couldn't support as much weight. Right, right. So right now, so we got that northern tool. Unfortunately, they only had one, not two. So we got mixed tires on the dolly. But we get back on the road. I, I follow him for a while. We're like, okay, we'll, we'll just do 
he'll lead, I'll follow, we'll make sure everything looks good on the dolly. We went mm, 40 minutes up the road maybe? Probably about an hour. Up the yeah. road, found a rest stop, pulled in the rest stop, made the decision we wanted to travel together and be a team. So we hooked the, t the car up, I hop in. And we're headed up the highway. We get a couple hours more down the road. Up by Raleigh. And we hear Actually, this. Actually right before the 40 and 85 split. Yeah, so if you're familiar with the area, two highways convert, uh, split off. And when this tire went boom, Oof. there was no doubt. No it was doubt. Boom. Boom. You felt rattle, it. Rattle, you rattle, heard rattle, it. Rattle. And thankfully, once again, Steve calmly put the turn signal on. We were thankfully we were in the right lane. Put the turn signal on, pulls over to the shoulder of the road. Now we're dealing with an RV tire that blows. And unfortunately yeah. it's a highway. And while he has a jack and can fix a flat, we hadn't we didn't invested have in a, a wheel spa or spare. Rim. Yeah, we didn't invest didn't in a spare, spare yet. And since it's for sale, we were debating whether or not we wanted to get one just because it's expensive. Right. So made a phone call to an automotive tire company, which I do not remember the name, but I will put it in here. The people on the phone could not have been nicer, but they did not carry the size tire we wanted. But they did steer us to somebody that did roadside right. truck repair. So I did the. I did the, basically what we were yeah. doing. So I did what you should do is go, is there someone you could recommend in the area that could help us? And they were very wonderful about helping us, which is why I want to give them credit too. Yes. Because they steered, steered us, us to the, the right people. The, that were local. Right. The Piedmont Truck Tire Company. Fabulous. Yes. Fabulous. They we called them. They were kind. They exactly they gave us options. They had the tires in stock. They um, we told them exactly where we were. He said it's either going to take an hour or an hour and a half, depending on what's going on with the, the tech, and where if they have one in the one store versus another store where the tech would happen to be. And so we ended up. He ended up. They called us back a couple times to keep us yeah. in the loop. Like they yeah. they kept us informed. The person, just the, the one that dispatcher. was coming, the dispatcher that was coming, called us to confirm. There's on the road. All brand new. <laughs> All brand new. We know the age. Even though we're selling it, we are still using it. So we wanted Somebody's to be safe get on the road. Somebody's going to a really good deal. Yep. Yeah. Well, we just wanted to be safe on the road. Look at that bird. What is that bird? Oh, there's a bird over Hello, here. a bird. I can't get up and show you, but there's a bird I on the tree. I thought it was a woodpecker. I don't know what kind it is. Huh. Anyway, we or have a bird that we're watching. Looking for, looking for bugs. And we're waving to our neighbors. <laughs> so anyway. Um, so, yeah, so they, they were they treated us kindly. They had air conditioning because it was a hot day that day. Unlike today, which is chilly. We're dog friendly. Took about an hour and a half, two hours to get them all changed and yep. balanced and everything that we needed. They found uh, one of our rims. Actually were had a ding in it. So that we, they were able to sell us another one. So it took us longer to do that. We finally get back on the road. We get to the campsite. We're both exhausted. We're both kind of burnt. Driving course, in and dusk. out of rain the whole way. It's, it's <laughs> dusk. Yeah, we were driving in and out of rain. Get to the campsite. Call them. They they lead us to a campsite, which is, by the way, gorgeous. Our site is so pretty. The lake is right there. There's a lake right down. Like we can see through the trees, a lake. Yeah. Bathhouse is right here. And of course, as soon as we pull up to the site, and he's going to back it in. I've got to get the pilot with a dolly on it in. It starts to torrential rain. Yeah. And it dropped the temperature from like in the 90s to in the 60s. And I'm in shorts and a short sleeve shirt and I'm soaking wet and I'm shivering. I'm like, get, 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 be a mm -hmm. coat. Now, I mean, I literally was shaking. I was so cold. So I thought she was just mad at me. <laughs> <laughs> Same look. Yeah. <laughs> give me a coat. Get at the globe. Give me a coat. So we ended up. Um, parking yeah and saying it's close enough alone, which is not very level at all <laughs> we're both exhausted exhausted so the site is really unlevel because it's on the side of a hill it goes down to a lake yep. and we were very not level last night but so the today's task was to get out and actually get levelish or leveler and we've got the front tire up on three blocks the back tires up on three blocks the one other tires up on two blocks, two blocks. but think. unfortunately, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think two. Unfortunately, because it's gravel and the ground was wet, 
every time you try to pull up on downhill. the blocks. Downhill. And it's downhill just enough every time. I wonder time. if backing up would have helped. Might have done it. Yeah. He couldn't get up every time he tried. He slid. And every, he would slide and I would laugh and he would slide and I would laugh. And, and it was kind of funny. Even you yeah. were laughing. At this point we're like what whatever. <laughs> so we Nothing did. Nothing broke. <laughs> exactly. We did plan B. Which is pull out his heavy duty jack and jack the RV Which up I enough. I did buy a air jack that you can put tires on these bees yeah. when you got it. Yeah. So he's and jacked an it air up, compressor. Jacked it up enough. We slid the levelers under it and jacked it down enough. Plan B worked. Yeah. So we're we're still not perfectly level, mostly because we don't have any more leveling blocks. But I don't feel like messing with it. We could have probably we could probably get level if we really wanted to. Because remember, we don't have leveling jacks. So everything is manual with this. Um, we could get level enough if we wanted to, but uh, oh. Ladybug found the ball and that was in my lap. I don't know if you saw that on camera. I hope it doesn't not. roll downhill. Probably going to roll downhill and I'm going to have to chase it in a minute. I, I learned two big lessons this weekend. I don't know what you, how you feel. So far this weekend, I should Well, say. I learned years ago, tires are important. So that, that was your learning lesson. My yeah. learning lesson was we always joke around and we call this an adventure. And you have to remember that adventure's not always fun. Yeah. Sometimes bad things happen at adventures. And in this particular case, we had some bad things happen at adventure, but we stayed calm. We kept our sense of humor. We made jokes. We made an action plan and carried it out. It's my great racing reflex. <laughs> That's, That's what, what it, it is. is. That's what it is. Okay. I, I, I don't, you don't care. Freak out. You're I don't, in control. I don't you care. Do what you have to do. Yeah, and I don't care what it was. I yeah. just know that I felt safe. We, when we had a problem, we discussed what we were going to do as a plan of action as a couple, and we executed the plan of action. When the next problem happened, we were safe. Yeah. What's our next plan of action? We were both on the phone. We were both using Google. We both were doing what we needed to do to take care of it. I thought about when we were waiting for the truck repair guy to come to the side of the road. Hey, this is a perfect opportunity to have lunch. So we didn't get hungry and yeah. angry. So that to me, like yeah, stay that, together that as a team, helped. have the right attitude about it. You don't always have a plan, mm -mm. but you do what you got to do to make it work. And, and, and if it does, and what you're doing isn't working, try, try something else. You know, yeah. communicate. So we, yeah. I feel really, really good that while we were both toasty done when we pulled into this site. Yeah. And we were, I was, it was hard. To, it was that last hour drive. The drive yes. was tough. And he, w he was in a car, in, in the RV. I was in the car with the dolly. Yeah. Our instructions weren't that great. My, he had the GPS, but it was doing something funky his phone died yeah my phone was acting weird with the direction so i just it was like one of those whoa thing but we stayed calm enough when we talked to each other yeah and we know each For other once. well enough <laughs> yeah but i mean we didn't have and we had an we argument do communicate. On top. Well, and, well well and the thing is is we didn't have and we had a big argument on top of yeah. this because that would suck it would have sucked hello and i'm just fortunate that we had the money to do it right. That's we, the we, other part. We have we have we have cash saved for emergencies. We could have replaced just the one tire. We would have been stressed and gambled. I would have been so stressed. And I was stressed. just like, oh. "There's five more. I've got the money. Do it." Well, and you know, and right now because it's just post COVID, and some of the manufacturing companies are just starting to get up to True. speed. I'm hearing some areas and some places and certain tire sizes are hard to find. Mm. So I didn't want to risk. And this waiting. is that weird 19.5 tires. Yeah, but they had plenty. They had plenty. So we're here. We're set up. We're relaxing. We're enjoying ourselves. 